wasn't all that long ago that it seemed like every Browns Monday was something like this. Another painful lesson for a rookie quarterback. But all of a sudden, Browns fans have to learn something new. Something even the Browns players are having to learn new. It's called Victory Monday. Victory Monday. Think about that. No more of Baker Mayfield looking for Warren Sachs. Let's get rid of that. Let's start with how about this one. Greg Williams, who knew, being lifted. A uplifting victory. There's Greg Williams, a new interim coach. Got to like that one. Or how about this past Sunday in Cincinnati? Miles of smiles. Miles of smiles. I met myself over the head. Everywhere I've been going now, I'm, I've been running to Browns fans. They're wearing their Browns jackets. They're wearing their Browns hats. They're Browns shirts. How about the Browns? It's amazing. Not only are Browns fans all the miles of smiles for so long, for months, for years, it was Browns fans, they didn't just throw the paper away. They wanted to put the garbage can right over their head. Couldn't stand it. Now, Victory Monday, Victory Monday, think about this. Browns have won two in a row, first time since 2014. Even more importantly, and this actually started the first game after the Browns fired Hugh Jackson as head coach and Todd Haley as offensive coordinator, and they put Greg Williams in as the interim head coach and Freddie Kitchens as the new offensive coordinator, the Browns' offense began to look better. One thing that I think NFL people forget is that football games, yeah, they're about winning, but they're also about entertainment. And when you start to score some points and the offense starts to move the ball and it becomes fun to watch, all of a sudden, every Sunday, we could kind of gift wrap it here. There's a bunch of little happy penguins. And you know what I'm saying there is suddenly Browns games begin to become a gift to the fans. In other words, I can't wait to watch the next one. Did you see the last one? How about Baker Mayfield? That Nick Chubb kid, did you see him go? And you turn around, Miles Garrett went in there and blocked that field goal. Joe Schobert, ever since he's come back to the defense the last couple of games, it's a whole lot better. Who knew? Who knew that the Browns at this point would be a three-letter word, F-U-N? Probably thought I was going to say W-I-N, win. That's another three-letter word we don't know. But they've been fun to watch. They've been winning some games. They've been giving a four-letter word, hope, H-O-P-E, because of the young players. I remember at one point I'm writing a sentence about the Browns' offense, and it had featured Baker Mayfield, a rookie, and it featured Nick Chubb, a rookie, and it featured Antonio Callaway, a rookie, and Miles Garrett, second-round player, and David Njoku, who got carried into the end zone with his, with the, pushed into the end zone by his teammates, a second-year player. I'm going, holy cow, they are winning. That goes back to that four-letter word, H-O-P-E, hope. They're winning mostly with young guys. In other words, this is not a team that had been just tossed together with a bunch of guys in their late 20s or early 30s who might be good just maybe for a year or so, kind of a Haley's Comet lightning strikes situation like the Browns had in 2007 when they had Derek Anderson, Jamal Lewis, and Joe Juravicious. That was also the year that Kellen Winslow actually stayed healthy and Braylon Edwards actually caught some passes. It didn't last for very long. It was one year, one and out. They're building something this year that will go on to next year. And Browns fans just got to get used to some more Victory Mondays.